Altman said all the key words today in that press conference, alignment, timeline. It all sounds great in theory, but you and I had this extensive conversation this afternoon. Did this have to happen? Right, did this have to happen? My answer would be no, but it does feel like both sides wanted it to. I mean, Luke, you heard the way Steve Clifford was talking at the end of the season. He knew the lineups that they were putting out onto the floor really had no chance of winning. That is a tough pill for a veteran coach like Steve Clifford to swallow. And then you talk about Jeff Weltman. I mean, he even admitted that the trade deadline moves put Clifford in a really difficult position. So now both, both sides here are moving on, and I'm left wondering, what would have happened if they didn't make those trades and if they didn't have those injuries? This is a great day for the Orlando Magic. From hired. It's great to be here and now I'm excited to get started. To mutually agreeing to part ways. Obviously, you know, we repositioned our team and, you know, the alignment just wasn't there. Jeff Waltman insisting the two sides separating amicably. The Steve Clifford era ends with a big what could have been. Steve Clifford going to let them play it out. Five to shoot. Augustine. Three to shoot. He'll take. You bet. DJ Augustine. Clifford led the Magic to back-to-back -back playoff appearances for the first time in seven years. He helped Nikola Vucevic become a two-time All-Star. Vucevic trailing the play, drops the hammer. Magic's defense and effort were respected around the league. This is not a, uh, a one-sided um, you know, parting of the ways. You know, I think Cliff did a lot of contemplating when he was away, where he is in his career and, and what he's looking for and you know, the type of team that he's you know, best suited to you know, move forward. Isaac. Season-ending knee injuries to Jonathan Isaac in the bubble. Tough thing to watch. And Mark Al Fultz in January of this year. Fultz driving on Okoro. Oh, no. He goes down and grabbing his left knee. Mark the beginning of the end for Clifford. I, I see the narrative. I mean, like, that's that's a pretty logical through line. Waltman then deciding to trade away Vooch, Aaron Gordon, and Evan Fournier at the deadline. So obviously, all we can deal with is what did happen and where we are. Had those injuries not happened? Maybe Clifford would still be here. It has a rationale behind it, you know, but who, who knows? Who knows what would have happened? Waltman now focusing on what he can control, hiring the 15th head coach in Magic history. I think that what we're looking for is, is someone that can develop young players, um, put them in positions to succeed, and um, move us towards winning as quickly as possible. So Waltman acknowledging the logic behind my theory there, but ultimately I do think he's happy with the way things played out. I mean, he keeps talking about this being the most exciting time to be an Orlando Magic fan. He believes the moves they made at the trade deadline raised their ceiling, and sure, those playoff runs there with Steve Clifford were nice, but now if they find the right coach, they got a chance to build for a title, Luke. And you're looking at this now, one of three job openings in the NBA. What's the appeal with this gig in Orlando? Well, the most appealing job would be one with a superstar, and the Magic don't have that, obviously, Luke. But they do have a chance to draft one here, and they have a lot of assets. They're a blank canvas, so to speak. So I would think that would be appealing for a lot of the candidates out there. And the league right now is more wide open than ever. It's a little bit of a changing of a guard. And Jeff Waltman talked about, you know, the Hawks and the Suns making the second round of the playoffs. That's a degree of hope for Orlando Magic fans. That's a model, something to build towards. And Jeff Waltman believes they could get there sooner than people think. Yeah, and it sounds good in theory with the Suns and Hawks. Both of those decisions were made based on coaching, and you saw how that elevated both of those teams' performance. Pat, we appreciate it.